Hey, what's up YouTube 590 coming to you today. Uh, I got a request for a video explaining the velocity MIDI effect here in Ableton. So we're going to go over this real quick. Try not to take up too much of your time to begin with. Uh, I'm going to show you guys we did. We went with a very simple beat here of four bars or should I say one bar on a piano, four beats. And we have two dis different velocities. The first beat the uh, is going to be set at 100 velocity, as you can see here. The second beat is going to be set at 50% velocity. So just to give you an idea of what we're talking about here, I'm going to play this real quick. So there you guys can hear that you have one note played and you can hear it very well as the second note, not so much. So let's go ahead and put this velocity MIDI effect on it here. First thing you gotta notice over here on the left side is this uh, graph here with this line in between it. And that graph with the line is telling you, uh, giving you a visual of what's going on with your velocity. Now, right below that, you have the operation. It's usually set on both. And the two other modes you have is, is velocity and relative velocity. When you set it on velocity, you will affect the velocity of the different notes. When you set it on relative velocity, you're not going to affect any velocity. So it's almost like you're bypassing this altogether. It will not do anything. And both puts them together, which uh, is pretty much the same as velocity. So you set it on velocity. Below here you see where it says clip. This clip mode will take whatever notes that you have coming in and as you turn your range down, it's going to make the notes closer to that range sound louder. So let's play this here and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Once we get down to around 100, you'll start to hear the 100 notes get a lot louder. And then once we get down close to the 50, I would say within the 60 range, you're going to hear the 50 notes start to peak up and sound a lot louder as well. So that's the first set of notes. And as you can see, that second set of notes as well came in there behind it and started clipping or uh, increasing in velocity as well. Now we're going to go down to the gate function, which as a gate, it acts as a, um, any kind of gate that you would have on a particular track. So if you put a gate on, you know, you're looking to gate out certain s sounds or frequency or a certain range. So when you take, put on gate and let's say we turn this range here down to 99, which is below our 100, two notes that are at 100 is going to cut those notes out completely. So now those notes are cut out completely. And if you notice over here, you will get a little blinking light right below the graph for each note that's cut out just to let kind of give you a reminder that, Hey, you're cutting out some notes. When you put it down here to fixed, your range goes out of the window, your uh, drive comp, all that goes out of the window. The only thing you now have is your high output and this now gives you the range of all your notes. So whatever you set this to is what all your notes are going to sound like now. So we set this to a hundred. All right, now we got on 99. So at 99, as you can tell, all of your notes are going to play at the same velocity. So if for some reason you come in here and you have a track and you have different uh, levels, and you want all of your levels to be exactly the same, but you don't feel like coming in here and grabbing each one of these notes to put it to where you want it at, then you can just come over here and put this on the track, set it to fix, and set your velocity to whatever you want for all those notes. And just remember that because if you want to take and break up this MIDI clip and put certain notes in one section and then break them all up to be a certain velocity and then take another set of notes and make them another velocity that is useful for that. So we're going to put it back on clip here and we're going to turn our output 
all the way up and our range all the way up so we have that full range there now the drive is going to make your notes more to the outer loudness that's it's going to put your it's going to make your notes more susceptible to being a higher velocity when you turn it up into the positive section so we'll play it we'll put it on leave it on zero then we'll turn it up so you guys can see what it's doing Each of those two sets of notes that actually brought up their their initial velocity. If you turn it back to the negative side, it's going to bring down bring down both notes' velocity. That's what your drive does. Comp almost acts the same, but it brings the notes closer to either the outer band or the inner band. So your higher notes are going to be brought closer to the higher range, your lower notes to the lower range. Your higher notes, you almost are going to overhear them and your lower notes, you're pretty much putting them out to where you will barely hear them, if not hear them at all. Then if you take it the other way, you're going to get the opposite effect. So when it comes to random, random, you'll notice that you're going to get this big area here that comes up. And within this area, your note can randomly range between your uh, range down here where it says 127 and lowest one. Anywhere in between there, your notes will hit at the random mark. Any one of your notes is going to hit somewhere in there. So if you're looking for something different where you just want completely random stuff, you can turn that random up there and do that. And if you turn random up and you turn on the comp here, your higher notes are going to go more toward the outer end. Your lower notes are going to randomize more toward the inner end or more toward the lower end there of what you're working with. You can always adjust how high you want it to go out right with this knob here. And then you have how low you want your output to be. So you can say, I don't want it to go below 50 because I already have my 50 and I feel like that's too um, low. So you can go ahead and set that there to 50. Let's turn the random off. And see our notes will not go below 50. You can come down here and adjust your range the same way. You can actually take this here up above 50 so that let's say we want our notes not to hit below 100. So we'll put it here on 100. We got it in clip mode. Put this output back to where it was. Put our output back to, let's put our output to 100. So we want everything to be at 100. Now, as you see, we've just made all of our notes. As you can tell, we just made all of our notes the same velocity. A different method to make them all the same velocity there. We just put our lowest at 100, range to 127. So we can go above 100, but we can't be go below 100. So now we know that all of our notes are going to hit at the lowest at 100%. So that's pretty much the velocity MIDI effect in a nutshell. Again, guys, it's 590. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment below. Tell us more of what you want. Thanks.